Also, here's a makeup look that emphasizes the color pink and it's gonna make you look like you're innocent even though you're not. <laughs> Please forgive my 21st century narcissism or aka selfies. If I did, it would sound like a hundred funny. Now, as usual, I'm just going to take my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser and put it into my face without rinsing it out. You and me, can't you see? We could change our love. Now, using Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer by Benefit, I'm just going to put it into my face to smoothen it out and provide longevity for foundation. Now using the amazing NARS Firming Liquid Foundation, I'm just going to pump one on the back of my hand to warm it up. And using this Sephora 3D Precision Sponge, and actually this is the first time that I'm going to be using it. And if you want to have a separate review for this product, just comment below. Now just blend it out evenly. So all that I need now it's concealer time, so here I'm just going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this actually won an award for being so awesome and this thing is really good so I'm just gonna dot it into my blemishes and dark circles and blend it using my fingers and the sponge And now using the award-winning NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder and this won a number of awards in different magazines for being so awesome. You guys should definitely check this out. And I'm just going to buff it all over my face using a powder brush. This will set all our liquid formulas and lock it into place. This product has light reflecting properties which enables to give a dewy glow to your skin. Now let's proceed to the eyebrows. So here our goal is to make it thicker because we're aiming for that innocent look. Okay, even though we're not. So I'm just going to take a um, an eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to trace on my inner corner part and just make it thicker than it usually is. Now here comes magic. So here I discovered a product from Etude House called Color My Brows. So it's pretty self-explanatory and it does color your brows like magic. So here I'm just going to take it and as you can see my eyebrow hairs are very dark, like seriously dark and my hair color is way lighter than it. So I'm just going to shade my eyebrows to make it appear as if it's the same color with my hair as you can see. Now this product also makes the hair stay in place throughout the day. Now look at the difference from black to blonde, oh yeah. Now I'm just gonna continue on the other side. Now if you have thick eyebrows like I do and you have a hard time coloring your eyebrows, I would definitely recommend the Etude House Color My Brows Gel. Using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm just going to prime my eyes to make the eyeshadow colors prominent and stay longer. Now taking this purple smoky eyes palette, I'm just going to take the shimmering lavender color and I'm going to wash it over my lid area to brighten it up. Now taking a blending brush and a matte pink eyeshadow or blush, here I'm using a blush, and I'm just gonna run it along my outer V. This will freshen up your look. Now I'm just going to take a matte brown eyeshadow and with the same brush, I'm just going to run it below the pink and this will create a 3D effect to your eyes. Every single day, every single night, every single moment of my life, I wanna spend them all. Now taking the palette again, I'm just gonna select the matte dark purple eyeshadow which is close to black but I don't want to use black because it will overwhelm everything. And I'm just going to shape my outer V and connect the purple one to the brown one. This will further intensify your eyes, but in a very subtle way. 
Now I'm just going to run the same matte brown eyeshadow to the bottom lash line. Now taking this eyeliner from NARS is actually felt tip and it's very easy to work with and it never smudges. So I'm just going to be extending the line downwards and this will make you achieve the more innocent looking effect rather than a cat eye. Now taking the same eyebrow pencil, I'm just going to use it to contour the sides of my nose to slim it down. I actually find the pencil more long lasting compared to powders. Just make sure to blend it very very well in order to make it look more natural. To achieve the most slim effect, make sure to also define the tip of your nose. And ta-da! Nose job in a minute! Now time for highlight and here I'm using my ultimate favorite Benefit What's Up highlighter and I'm just going to highlight the high points of my cheeks, my nose line, and my forehead. I also did a demo and review of this product and I'm just going to put the link down the description bar if you're interested. Now to add a pop of color to our cheeks, here I'm using this Hibiscus Kiss Blush and Bronzer Duo from the Riri Hearts MAC Collection and I'm just mixing the two together and I'm just going to run it along my cheek area. Now this product has very minimal color pickup and pigmentation which is sad but what I like about it is that it creates a very subtle and natural glow to your face. Now using my Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder, I'm just gonna run it along my jawline just to define it and make my face look slimmer. Now this step is very optional, so if you just want to add more drama to your eyes, go ahead and put on natural looking fake lashes. To liven up the entire thing, go ahead and get your peach or rose gold eyeliner and run it along your lower rim. The way that I do. Now your eye makeup is done. Now for the final touch, the lips. So here I'm just going to take my favorite lipstick of all time called Pink Nouveau by MAC. Now that your makeup is done, go ahead and accessorize with accessories that goes with your makeup like gold and silver. I don't recommend using dark or bronze or black accessories for this look. Since the makeup is subtle and soft, make sure to stick to light colored accessories to avoid dragging the attention away from your look. And voila! Your look is finished. Never forget to wear your sweetest smile. It's contagious. I'm fighting, I don't wanna like it, but you know I like it, but you know I like it, like it, like it. Thank you so much for watching everyone and till my next video. Bye. Also please follow me on Twitter and Instagram, that's at Tell and please subscribe to my channel.